Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this YouTube video tutorial. Today we're going to look at drawing stars in Illustrator. But before we do that, let's have a quick look at some other things I want to show you. I'm also teaching classes over at Skillshare. So in the description below, you'll see that there's a link for my Skillshare classes, which will give you at the very least whatever the current deal is at Skillshare. And quite often my link will give you an even better deal. So if you're interested in signing up for Skillshare, that's where you'll find me. You'll also find me at Udemy and I have four classes at the moment at Udemy which are running at between 4.8 and 5 star ratings. So I do invite you over to Udemy and again in the description below you're going to find a special coupon which will give you at least as good a deal as you can currently get on Udemy and sometimes I can give you an even better deal than what is current at Udemy. So let's go to Illustrator and I have a new document here. We're going to draw stars. So we're going to the star tool, which of course shares a toolbar position with the rectangle tool. When you just click on your artboard, you'll draw a star with the current settings. Now mine has radius one of 50 pixels, radius two 25 and five points. So I'll just click here and this is a five pointed star with those radius values. It's also possible to draw a star by simply clicking and dragging with the star tool selected. Now I'm being very careful not to let go of the left mouse button. I'm going to hold the space bar because that will allow me to move my star. When I let go of the space bar, I go back to drawing the star. Now if I want more points, I can press the up arrow key at this stage. Again, I'm not letting go of this left mouse button. The up arrow key increases the number of points. The down arrow key decreases the number of points. And if I hold the control key on a PC, command on a Mac, then I can adjust the value of the second radius. And what that's doing is it's giving us a sort of flatter shape or a more pointed shape. Just again, holding down the control or command key as you drag, the shape's not changing in size, it's just that the internal dimensions are changing so you can pull the spikes in or drag them out. It's also possible to take them the other way. So you're effectively turning your star inside out and that's going to have an effect on radius one and radius two in just a minute. I'm going to let go of the left mouse button so I can just settle my star. Let's click again on the artboard. You can see here that radius one is around 200 pixels. Let's make it 200 pixels and radius two around 120. So let's set it to 120. I have seven points, I'll click OK. So that's the star that we created using that set of dialog values. If I click again and reverse these, so the radius one is 120 and radius two this time is 200 and click OK. Well, I get the same star, but it's just upside down. So it doesn't really matter if radius one or radius two is the larger value, you're still going to get a star. So what can you do with the star tool? Well, one of the things that you can do is to increase the number of points quite a lot and flatten the distance between the two points by holding the control or command key. And then you get the kind of shape that you would traditionally use on an award banner, for example. So I'm just going to hold the Alt and Shift keys as I just scale that up. And you can see that we've got this circular shape effectively with lots of little points on the edge. It doesn't look quite like a star, but it is using the star tool. And of course, you can create anything, even a four pointed star. Well, you can actually create a three pointed star, but let's just do a four. So I'm just pressing the down arrow key to reduce the number of points and then press the control or command key. This is my three pointed star. And let's go up one for a four pointed star. I'm just making sure that I'm not letting go of the left mouse button until I've got my star looking the way I want it to look. Now the only other thing we need to talk about with stars is the new live corners. So let's go back and let's draw just a standard sort of star. Let's make it 75, 35 and it's going to have five points. Let's zoom in up here. When I go to the direct selection tool, you'll see that there are these little widgets here that are the live corner widgets and dragging on those is going to adjust the corners of the shapes. So it's going to make them rounded corners or not so rounded corners. 
Now, if you want to adjust just the rounding on a single corner with the drag selection tool, select over that single corner and then just the widget for that corner becomes accessible to you. And so you can adjust just individual corners. Now, of course, this is only true of the live corners in the most recent versions of Illustrator. If you're using an earlier version of Illustrator, you probably won't have those tools available to you. But of course, you will have the star tools. So I'm hoping that makes it clearer as to how you can draw stars in Illustrator. If you enjoyed the video tutorial, give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.